Hi, Hot Rod Productions here with another Transformer review. And today we are going to be taking a look at Transformers Earthrise Voyager Class Grapple. So first things first, we'll take a look at what he looks like in the robot mode. So first we'll take a look at the legs, as you can see. The legs are picked out in yellow and black. These things on the side here are picked out in silver. As for the waist, it's picked out in black like half his legs are. Now for the chest, just fix my camera here. There we go. As for the chest, it has translucent, I think, translucent blue headlights. Around the headlights you have silver and then in the middle of the grill and his window chest has an Autobot symbol there and then as for the window chest it's the same picked down in the same colour as the headlights. Taking a look at his head I'll just adjust the camera a little bit so you can see his head. As you can see the head is picked out in yellow his face, as you can see, is picked out in silver. And then as for the optics, picked out in the same colour as the chest window and the headlights. So that's it for the head. As for his arms, just picked out in silver and yellow. For his hands picked out in black. So that's it for the details in robot mode. So for the rest of the things you can do in robot mode is you can flip either hand in and replace it with either the claw or the Cannon hand. I prefer him with the cannon hand. And I prefer on that side like he has in the show. But you can do what you want. So that's it. For accessories in robot mode. As for articulation, first we'll take his gun away. And then now we'll go on to articulation. So first things first, we'll start with the head. The head can rotate a full 360. For the arms, they can go up and down, as well as rotate a full 360 around the back and then to the front. Also has bi-step, un, a bi-step swivel under the shoulder there, as well as a elbow bends. As for the fists, they don't rotate at all but they do go in and out due to transformation. As for the waist, it has a waist rotation. For the legs, they have bicep rotation there under the hips as well as can go out Woods that far, he can, he can do the full middle splits as well as can go forward that far and back that far. He also has a knee bend as well as a, 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 a ankle tilt. So that's it for 
articulation. Now we're going to transformation. So first things first is you flip the hands in. I've already done it with the other one. Then take the arms and rotate them halfway around at under the shoulders. Next thing you need to do is take the head and detach it from the body. Then unfold all this from the back. Then we come back to the head. We'll fold in backwards like that. We come to the crane bit, the crane arm, and bring it up like that. Then we come to the feet and fold the feet down like that. Then we come back to back of him here. Then we'll line all this up. Then take these two posts here and they'll go right into these holes here. Then you come to the arms again and bring them down. Then you bring them up. And then you have them both in like that. Then the next thing you got to do is these two holes here, peg into these two posts here. Let's bring all that in, all that, and that up and tab, tab that in now. Then we're almost done with his crane mode. Then you come to the crane arm and rotate it around like that. Then push it outwards like that. Then if you want, you can have him with his crane hook. Or you can have him with his claw arm. So if you're doing picking stuff up if you want. Or you can just have him with the hook like I have him. Or you can replace it with this silver pen hand. But I like him like this, so. But you do what you want with the accessories. As for storage, any one of the weapons or accessories can tab into either that hole there or that hole in there. If you want, they can go into these holes here in the arms or with the claw or the silver cannon hand you can replace the them with the hook with them if you want more storage places or if you just want to swap it off for display or something so that's pretty much all you can do with the accessories in vehicle mode he does have articulation as well in vehicle mode though. So for articulation in vehicle mode, his crane arm can go up and down as well as in and out due to transformation. Hook can go up and down due to transformation. He also has rotation there as well. So they can also roll. And that's about it. So 
now that we're taking a look at the articulation and the accessories and what you can do, let's take a look at all the details in vehicle mode. So I'll start at the front. There he is from the front. There he's from side. The back, the other side, and the top. So that's it for the vehicle mode. So now if you want to transform him back into robot mode, it's easy. You just reverse how you transform him into crane mode. So first things first, you come to the hook, you fold that in, push that in, rotate back around, then come to this bit, bring it back up like that, untab the arms, bring them back like that, bring them back up to the sides like that. Then you detach the crane it from the legs there. The next thing you want to do is come to the feet and fold them back up. Then you come back to the crane bit and fold the crane part back in like that. Then fold his head up like that. Then fold all of this back in. Just make sure it's all secure and tab tabbed nicely back into place. Then you just tab the head back into place like so. Then the last thing, last few things you have to do is rotate the arms halfway back forward. Then if you want, you can fold both hands out. You can fold either hand back out, but I just fold that hand back out and replace it with his cannon hand. So there we go. There he is. Back into robot mode. So that's it for the video. So if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And that's it for the video. So I'll see you next time. Bye.